get a lot of questions about the different notebooks that I use, so I thought I'd create a very casual video showing you my different journals, sketchbooks, notebooks, and tell you what I use them for. In this video, I'm going to go through six of my notebooks, and then I'm also going to show you my folio, which has my favorite pens and stationery in it. I've got three piles here, and the categories are planners, journals, and sketchbooks. So let's start with planners. This is the notebook that you've seen the most on this channel, so I'm not going to talk too much about it, but it's my bullet journal and I use it for planning my personal life. And inside of it are two dot grid notebooks. I've divided my future planning and kind of like my dailies and things like that into two notebooks. So the first one is for my monthly calendars and for monthly goals and stuff like that. Since I've already created a setup video for this, I won't go into too much detail. And then I have my file folder here with a handy dandy writing board. And then I have my notebook for weekly overview and that helps me plan out my daily routine. So pretty straightforward, um, especially if you've watched some of my previous videos on how I do my bullet journal. That is my traveler's notebook. And yes, it is quite a pricey investment in terms of stationery. But for me, this cover of the traveler's notebook has lasted me for years now. And that's not stopping anytime soon. It's definitely a lifetime product. So even though it's like $40, I think that's how much I spent on it. Um, I swap these $5 inserts in and out of them and so I think for me um, it's worth that, that initial hefty cost. Just a quick disclaimer about this notebook. It was gifted to me by Ferris Wheel Press and I worked with this company for a long time, over a year now. I really like their products. They are pricier and this notebook was gifted to me. The notebook itself will run you about 20-ish dollars and then the cover is the pricey component. So like the traveler's notebook, you can swap the notebook in and out. So I can slip this notebook out of the folio the folio has a couple of pockets, a pen holder, and a little holder for a vial of ink. So this notebook is a soft cover dot grid notebook, and I use this to plan my business. My content calendars go in here, so you can see this is my content calendar for November, and I have little post-it notes because sometimes I move around my video ideas and things like that or my product releases. And this is where I kind of write out outlines and I brainstorm, I write out ideas and I prioritize. The notebook is very expansive and I really like that for creating large calendars like this. So that is my content planning notebook. I'm just gonna go ahead and slip this back inside here. There's a lot of space in here for brainstorming, writing down ideas and fleshing them out. And I just really love the square format. The next two traveler's notebooks are both journals. So this one is my passport traveler's notebook in camel. And for a long time, I was using this as a wallet. That worked really well, except, you know, I wanted to use it as a journal. And so inside is a craft folder and just one insert. So I kind of Frankensteined a few different inserts together. I took apart the staples and I added some other papers in there. So this one I am using for collaging, creative journaling, um, things like that. And I decided to start using this as a journal instead of a wallet because since my time is a little bit more limited, having a smaller notebook for creating spreads is more manageable for me. So not very much in there yet, but I'm excited to start filling it up with lots of creative collaging and photo journaling and things like that. So this is a dot grid notebook, just like in my bullet journal. And inside is some of my private thoughts. There's not very much to really look at in here because it is just my stream of consciousness. And I do try to write at least one sentence a day um, in this notebook. 
The next two notebooks are actually sketchbooks. And this year, I'm very determined to draw more often. So I have this small notebook from Arteza. Disclaimer, they did gift this to me, and I did feature it in one of my previous videos. It's a very small, cute sketchbook, only three and a half inches by five inches, about the size of my hand. I love how textured the paper is for drawing. So that is what I'm using this for. I really do enjoy this notebook. It's just so convenient to throw into my bag or something or just have lying around and just picking it up and, and just riffing. Lots of pages in here. And I have been very busy with having a baby, but I still have been able to get some good sketch sessions in. This was a recent splurge that I got I totally was influenced by a few artists that I follow that use this notebook as a sketchbook. This is an MD notebook from Midori and it's really high quality paper. Really it's the cover that's expensive. The actual notebook I think is an average price for a sketchbook, so about $12 to $20 depending on where you get it. And the cover is the splurge. And I figured that just like with the Traveler's Notebook, with this cover, I would just keep the cover for life and swap the notebook in and out of it once I complete them. So I started this sketchbook in the beginning of January, and I hope that this trend continues on where I just draw for fun and not worry about what other people will think or even worry about what I'm gonna think, you know, my own high standards. I just want to draw freely and draw for fun. This is not exactly a notebook, but it's something that I carry along with my notebooks. And again, very pricey item, but I just love it so much. It's got a place for all of my pens and for some of my favorite stationery. This part comes out, it's a pen holder. And I have four of my fountain pens in here. It also has some pen loops here. I've got an eraser here, I've got a pencil, and then my other fountain pen here, some scissors, a couple of samples here that are some of my favorites, and then I've got some of my little sticker sheets. These are my freebies that I give out with my orders, um, business cards here, and in here are some sticker sheets. Some of my own sticker sheets and some from really cute paper stationery companies. And a file folder. So this is where you can slip in like a notebook or something. I think this is this is a greeting card that I mean to write to someone. And yeah, you can slip in like an A5 notebook in here. But I just have a folder because I wanted to carry around some of my favorite stickers. So I've got like all these cool stickers in here for journaling, putting it into my notebooks. And I just slipped this in here. I could probably put something in here, and but I find that having it in here is very convenient. So I can just open it and pull some stickers out. This is another one of those pricier items. It's definitely a splurge for me, but I know that I am gonna love this thing for a long time, many years to come and it's handmade with love and care. So that is the folio, which I keep some of my favorite stationery. So let me know what your favorite notebooks are. Do you have a notebook hoarding problem, a stationery addiction? And if you don't really understand this addiction, you don't really know why you're on this video, let me know what brings you joy. What do you spend your disposable income on? Is it shoes, video games, makeup? We all have a thing, right? All right, I don't really know what I'm saying anymore, so I am going to leave it at that. Happy journaling, happy planning, happy art making, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.